If I open up, say, Netflix, for example, it'll open Netflix and then almost immediately iFit takes over and it starts to display as the prominent app. This is the reason why the method I'm about to show you will be very handy. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. Today we're doing a quick video to show you how to set up a persistent privilege mode on your Nordic Track exercise equipment. This is the Nordic Track S22i exercise bike. It comes complete with the tablet screen on here, which normally just runs the iFit program, which is specially designed to work with this bike. Now, the method I'm about to show you will work on pretty much any Nordic Track device that has this tablet design to it. It also works with some other manufacturers as well, which I will list in the description so that you know kind of what you're looking at. First, I want to show you what you normally would see, and then I'll show you exactly how to set up this persistent privileged mode. Before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed, we want you to join our community. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. I do want to apologize for obviously the bit of mess. We have just recently moved and a lot of people have been asking about how I get this done in some other videos that I've shown you. So I wanted to get this out before we even get a chance to get the whole bike and exercise area set up. I've shown you in other videos how to unlock the privilege mode using an unlock code, as well as doing a factory reset to a previous version of the iFit app, which was before you were locked out of that privileged mode. It's getting harder and harder to access privileged mode and the Nordic Track folks are actively trying to find ways to block us from having full control over our exercise bikes, our treadmills, our rowers, anything that runs the iFit app. That's totally understandable. I have made another video that explains why exactly they're doing that. But for a lot of you, you like the extra functionality that you gain by having privilege mode unlocked. So when we look at this right now, we're in the standard iFit app. This still functions 100% as you would expect your iFit device to work. Now, normally this is all you can see and it's all you can do. Now I have this menu down here, which allows me to pull up all the apps that I have installed. So you can see I have Netflix on here. I have the Peloton app on here. I have Prime Video. Now recently I updated my iFit app. So the method that I'm about to show you to keep your privilege mode persistent has actually been overridden now with that update. So this is a good time to install it and show you. Now, the reason I know I do not have privilege mode is because if I open up, say, Netflix, for example, it'll open Netflix and then almost immediately iFit takes over and it starts to display as the prominent app. This is the reason why the method I'm about to show you will be very handy. In order to save ourselves a lot of insanity, we're going to go into privileged mode if we're not actively in privileged mode. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to ask us for the number. I'm going to this video, the hacked with the code. The link is in the description. Now we're on the website, so I'm going to punch in the code. 715131, submit, and it spits out my new code, which is 350440. Submit. There we go. Now we are in privileged mode, so we're on to the main screen of our iFit device. Now what we're going to do is open up my file manager. Now if you have not installed this app, you will want to follow some of my other videos that I've already done that show you how to install the APK Pure app. And then I just use that to search. We're going to open the app ES File Manager. That's just here right here. Now, normally you're going to be at a root of some sort, but we want to go to the root storage on this device. So we're going to click up here at the top, look for the little Android icon, and we're going to click that. This gets you right to the root storage of this device. You can do a lot of damage in here, so do not go deleting stuff. But what we are gonna do is add a file. 
but we need to add it in the right spot. So we're going to scroll through till we find SD card right there. And then in SD card, we're going to click the plus button and we're going to create a new file. It's going to ask us for the name of the file and the name of the file is dot wolf capital D ev dot wolf dev just like that. And then we're going to hit create and that's it. Now the file's there. If we're not sure and it pops up again, try typing it again. And what it'll do is give me an error saying this file already exists. So let's try that and see a file with same name already exists. Okay, now it is on there. So now I can hit cancel and I can close that. Now, after adding that file, if I unplug the power on the device and I power cycle it, I should still have privileged mode. If I did this correctly, I will still have privileged mode. So I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. We'll watch it power cycle. Here we go, tablet is starting. Now you can see I'm still in privilege mode because I see the main screen here, which I wouldn't see if it was not in privilege mode. It would have just boot right into the iFit app. As it finishes booting, now we're back into the iFit app, but I still do have privilege mode. I can show you how I know because if I open up Netflix, it should stay on top. There you go, because I still am in privileged mode, Netflix stays on top while I can switch like this back to iFit. So I can get a workout going and then I can pull my sidebar out here and I can go to Netflix and have this play. Now I can play something and it'll load and play that. I'm gonna turn the volume down. The show is playing and I can go like this and pull up iFit. And there you go. You've still got the iFit going. You've still got your workout going and I can toggle back and forth to my Netflix video and keep that playing in the background while iFit is doing its thing. That's a really great way for you to stay in privileged mode and to avoid a lot of the complications and hassles that a lot of you have been having when you're trying to run other apps. So like Netflix, where you have iFit pop on top of your Netflix and it's really frustrating. You basically have to be in privileged mode. You have to be in privileged mode. You can do that by entering the code, which the link will be in the description. You can do that and keep doing that. It still works or create that file that you saw us just make and then it'll always have that privilege mode. When you boot the device, it'll survive reboots and everything. The only thing it won't survive is updates. If you update your iFit, it will overwrite that file and you will have to do this process again. It's not a big deal, but it's easiest if you go into privileged mode first using the code so that you can create the file. Otherwise, iFit will keep popping up over top of your file explorer which can be annoying. If you're trying to do this and you do not have some of the software that you saw me use to install the File Explorer or the APK Pure app, I do have other videos that show you how to install those onto your specific hardware. You can follow along. In the future, I do plan to make another video that will really outline how to do that in a lot simpler way or a more straightforward and easy to understand way. Because I know the information is kind of all over the place. It is what it is for now. You can get to the point that I have. And I have shown you in all of my videos how I got to the point that I'm at right now with this particular piece of equipment. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video. and We'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.